Hey, what is up guys? This is FNH here and today I'm going to be showing you guys what are my top five Android emulators on your computer. Alright, so if you're looking for gaming or just, you know, being able to use your Android phone on your computer, these are probably the top five emulators or virtual machines that you can install on your computer relatively easily and you know, use that to do whatever you want on, that you would normally do on an Android. All right, so yeah, let's get started. The first one you can see I have it open is Mimu Play, right? Um, you guys can see it does have so this emulator does have gaming in mind. So if you want something that is very optimized for gaming, right, and has really great response times, um, I highly suggest you try this out, right? Um, not only that, because it is completely free, right? Um, and they have a large selection of games. And when I tried it, it worked flawlessly for me. Okay, so you don't need like a super crazy computer, but you do need one with decent specs to be able to run, um, run it smoothly, right? But um, once you have, if you have it running smoothly, you probably won't have any issues with this at all. All right. Um, one downside I would say is there are some ads, but you know that's just a small price to pay to be able to use this for free all right so you know overall great emulator definitely check it out all right the next one I would say is bluestacks all right so bluestacks.com this one is probably more famous than the other ones you know if you guys have been looking into Android emulators online you probably have come across bluestacks all right because bluestacks is the I believe is probably the most popular one um, that people normally use it is really good and there is a reason for that it's really good um, it's native Android right so even though down uh, below it is technically a uh, virtual machine running right and this is also optimized for gaming as well so you'll see great response times right um, and not only gaming but there's just I personally I believe this is probably one of the best ones you can use all right so definitely check that out as well this one is jenny motion or genie motion however you want to pronounce it right uh this one's good also this is basically an android virtual machine so you do have to have a uh, virtual box installed on your computer to be able to run this right and then it'll install as an os but once you have it installed um it is really good um and it, it works pretty good just like a regular android would right um compared to the previous two that i mentioned uh the previous two blue stacks and Mimu, you can kind of view it in a tablet mode right so the screen will be a lot bigger not just the typical like this over here on the with the way the phone looks um so you do have a ro wider range of uh views so but on genie motion is it is kind of just the phone right you could do a horizontal or landscape right uh, but it doesn't really get that big but um, you know other than gaming um, this is really good just to test out different apps or you know just to play around uh, great product um, it is free but uh, they do have a commercial version where you have to pay but you know normally it's free all right next one is android-x86.org right um so this is a fully a full android os that you would install on virtual box or you know you can dual boot your computer or wh wherever way you like it right um it's pretty good uh there is a downside i would say um they don't have the latest version of android right uh, which depending on how you look at it might be a major downside for you but um you know it didn't have the latest version but it is very stable okay so whatever versions they do have it it most likely will not crash it's almost impossible that it will crash right um, it's highly stable as for the other ones you know from time to time they could crash uh, especially blue stacks and Mimu. Um, you know eventually they kind of uh, depending on your computer processing and all that uh, could lead to crashes uh, but this one is a lot more stable okay um, so last but not least is Anbox so Anbox is pretty good also it's open source and the way it runs is it's 
technically runs in a Linux sandbox, right? Um, so you guys can see over here, it's just basically in uh, a Linux sandbox. So they are. This is pretty good. It's really stable. Uh, did, there are some downsides to it. Um, it only supports Ubuntu and I believe Debian, right? So if you have like Red Hat or some other one, it would probably not work. Um, aside from that, there is no Google Play on this. Okay, so you know, depending on what you need from your Android OS, uh, you know, if you need Google Play, this is not one for you. But if you don't, uh, then then this works perfectly fine and it's really good. And it's open source, so you know they have a very large community behind it. You know, just to check it out and you know, updating it constantly. So yeah, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.